Hey guys, I picked up the Re8 Plus 2.5 GHz about three weeks ago from the time of this video. Before I start, I recommend checking out that blog review I did of this device. I go into a deeper review of this product. You will find the link in the description below. Since I bought my Raspberry Pi, I've been slowly building it as a portable tablet. The Raspberry Pi uses a desktop keyboard layout. Since my Raspberry Pi is in a tablet form, it doesn't make sense to be packing around a mouse and a full-on keyboard if I want to take this thing with me. So this is where the Re8 Plus comes in. There is a pile of clones and fake versions of this keyboard out there, so make sure you look for the relabel on the touchpad and the genuine sticker of the box. I had the wireless receiver version. This is not the Bluetooth version. If you want the Bluetooth version, you're going to have to grab that, but it's pretty much the same thing. Except for this one has wireless receiver dongle. In the box, it comes with an instruction manual that I typed out with the keypad on my website for a true review. You will need to see that to understand what I really think about it, so make sure to go check that out. Again, the link is in the description below. The Ray Plus touchpad has no delay and sensitive to touch, and the keypad works great. So I'm in my website right now, my search engine, and uh, I'm going to check out a couple of gestures here. As we already know, the first one, the left works, that is the mouse. Um, these two here will scroll up and down. As you can see, that it says here, double click, brings up the contacts menu. Right there. The buttons on the keypad have a tactile feel to them. You don't need to press hard on the buttons for a device to register what you pressed. The back of the keypad has three settings, off, dim, bright. The LEDs are white. So I'm going to show you this completely in the dark. So that's dim, and that's as bright as it goes. It comes with a USB cord so you can charge your device. The cord has a micro USB, same as your phone. The cord also has a female USB end so you can plug in the wireless receiver. Perfect for devices that only have one USB port or not enough ports freed up. For three weeks I've never once charged the device and have been using it every day since. I recommend that you charge it before you get it. I didn't want to charge it for the reason that this device charging current is 300 milliamps. This means that if I overcharge it, it can wreck the battery. So I waited until I got my UM25C USB LCD voltage meter and tested it on a few devices. This was the results. One problem with this device, and I tried to email Re about it and never got a response back. In the bottom left corner, there's a hole. That hole is a microphone. In the manual, it says, audio feature configuration is available for this device. The device includes a mic. Under some systems, the audio feature requires manual configuration. Okay, not a problem. I go into Windows and open up Sound and press the Recording tab. There is nothing in there for the Re keypad. I even tried my Raspberry Pi audio device settings and again, there is no mic. The microphone just simply doesn't work. I doubt it's an issue with mine since everything else works great. I'm not sure what that microphone is for. Um, it could be for Android, it could be for something else, but it doesn't seem to work on my Windows 7 computer and my Raspberry Pi Raspbian OS. Minus that small issue, I love this device and I may just buy another one. I really recommend it. Get one. I have used it on my Xbox One. I, I even tried to play Gears of War with it. Check this out. So I am on Gears of War on the Xbox One edition, as you can see here. And this is working. I can't, I was fiddling around with it a little bit, I can't use this to move left and right. I can't fire a weapon. Um, I can use the WASD keys to move forward. Spacebar will help me 
twist around. Do a chill over here. Like I said, I really love this device. I highly recommend getting one. It does work on the Xbox 360. It works on a lot of devices. You use it on your TV, um, some Android devices, I guess Steam OS, and a bunch of others. Uh, as long as it can read the USB uh, dongle for it or the receiver, then it'll work perfect. Do you have a re keypad? If so, what do you think of it? Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.